UK school holidays and American school holidays are not the same. So from around the 26th of May onwards, one, that's Memorial Weekend, so that plus also the uh, American kids start breaking out from school, and then you've also got things like the 4th of July, those kind of things. So from around the 26th of May to around the 15th of August, this is still going to be, you know, 7, 8 out of 10, uh, capacity in the parks we is going to be busy when you go at this sort of time so a lot of people do say well we want to go in July when the kids first break up from school or the kids break up from school a little bit earlier than the uh, other kids so we want to go then your flights might be cheaper but the parks are going to be packed so you're going to be saving a little bit of money maybe on your flights but you're not going to get as much done which means you need to stay for a bit longer that's one of my tips as well is don't look at how many nights you go for, look at how busy it's going to be. Because if you go on a 14 night holiday, but it's in the middle of a really busy time, that's the same as going on a 10 night holiday when it's much quieter. You're gonna get exactly the same amount done in fewer nights. So you're gonna be saving on those hotel costs. Plus also it's lower season, so the hotels are gonna be cheaper anyway. And flights are gonna be cheaper. So again, don't think that you have to go for 14 nights like most people kind of do uh, be flexible if you're going in lower sort of times of the year like be flexible and go for a short amount of time about the 16th of august onwards is brilliant time for uk school holidays it's probably the best school holiday to go because from then onwards the americans are back at school which means the parks really the, the attendance drops down sometimes it can get down to four out of ten uh, but you're kind of averaging sort of like no more than six, uh, but around sort of five. So fantastic uh, time to go to Orlando. If you can be flexible when the kids go back to school, there is also a massive, massive difference uh, in the price of flights as well. So for example, if you fly back on, on or before the 1st of September, it's expensive you can save an absolute fortune by flying back on the 2nd of September onwards. Uh, again, from about the 19th of August uh, onwards, this is when the flight prices also dramatically drop. So from about the 16th of August to around the 7th of October, this is when it is nice and quiet in the park. 